What about you? Today we're going to be scarfing this really large lawn. Today we're going to be doing this really large lawn, as I said. Now you can see that it's, it's pretty big here. There's a, there's a lot of space here. Just going to say it's at the stage where you'd maybe think to yourself, the tractor and attachment in the back of the tractor, something PTO driven. But today we're just going to crack almost our normal scarf iron and get it done. It is a little bit early in the season to do this. I know you guys are going to be asking me in the comments down below, can you scarf iron? We usually start scarf iron in the middle of August. We're a week early into that. My reason for this, this is such a big garden. This garden's huge. There's I mean, there's the best part of 3,000 square metres here, so it's going to take us a bit of time. So scarf iron this early on, the customer is going to have to water it for the next couple of days but they're forecasted next week to be, there's to be a lot of rain next week. So while we've got the heat and then the dampness will come next week and the lawn will start to really recover quite quickly. So if you scarf on early on in the year or early on in the season towards autumn time, we would, I'd rather do the scarf on a wee bit earlier in August than end of November where we're not getting the recovery. It's different a lot of places, or you might live in the south of England and it stays warmer a lot longer here in Belfast, temperatures drop quite quickly, so we that's why I start the scarf fan in August, then we'll finish in the middle of October with our scarf fan. Alright, so at the minute Danny's doing a scarf fan. We're only doing a small section here. The reason for that, it's such a big space. If we were to scarf fan the whole that whole thing once, it might take up to an hour. And one of us is going to be standing doing nothing, although the regulars do that. I don't do a lot of the best of times, but jokes aside, folks. So I'm going to take over from him now, and then that means we'll get that little square done. He can start clearing that bit up, and I can start scarfing more of this section here. So let's get on with that now. So as you can see, Danny's just started doing the tidying up. It is going to be a bit of a mammoth task getting all this cleared up. But I do have, I have something to show you that hopefully is going to speed all this up because it's going to take a, quite a while. This side of the lawn is actually smaller than the far side, so I'm going to show you that very shortly. For anyone new to the channel, I'm going to do a brief explanation of what scarification is. So you can see that we've pulled all this debris out of the lawn. So to have a look, at some of the waste that comes out of this. Scarification, or th this is called thatch. It's an organic layer that grows in your garden. Every time you cut your grass, some material goes down into your lawn. There's some moss mixed through that as well. And this just naturally accumulates. Over time, your grass might start growing in different directions instead of straight up. So scarification, it cleans out there's just below your, just below the grass surface, there's a, the organic layer that's called thatch. Some thatch in your lawn is acceptable, but whenever you start to have too much, then it starts to become a problem. So we did this lawn last year, and you wouldn't really believe, but this time last year, we probably pulled twice the amount of waste out that we've pulled out today. But you can see that there's, there's, a, lot of, there's a lot of material there. Trying to pick up a, a blower for a big garden that we're going to be doing this afternoon or this morning in the RD Mechanical. They're based just outside Belfast and Newton Abbey. They have our favourite tools in stock, a load of Milwaukee gear. If it's not red, leave it in the shed. Come on, we'll go over and have a look at it. So, just going to give a quick shout out. This isn't a paid for or sponsored post or anything like that, but I'm just helping out a local business. So, if you you want to get your hands on some good Milwaukee gear, you know where to come to. I have this machine on trial. It's a push-along blower. I'm going to see how it compares to the backpack. If it does any good, I might end up buying one.
It's pretty warm here in Northern Ireland. I don't know if you can see the screen. Sun, sun, sun. We're 25 degrees. So I finally have most of the garden scarified. We've done the one run over it. The far side, we've got that double scarified and left it so happy days. It's end of lunchtime now. I am feeling the heat. So I have this stuff with me today because it's a sunny 24, 25 degrees in Northern Ireland. That is tropical temperatures. I know in parts of the UK, you guys are getting really warm, but 25 degrees is really warm here. So I have a special guest with me today. I brought my dad, Chris, along. I told him that he could fly the drone. He's here to fly the drone, but he also is doing the dump run. So happy days. My thoughts on the blower. This definitely isn't a review. I got this unit because I, I have been thinking about buying one, but I don't think it's a good fit for me. One of the golf courses with Philomat Beaver, they have something similar. I think their blower is slightly bigger. I thought this blower, there was a lot less fatigue using it, but it had about the same power as what the backpack does, and I think the backpack is more versatile, and that's why I don't think it's a great fit for me. Although, I may get one in the future. If you've enjoyed this video, watch this video next as I think you'll enjoy it too.